Wow, good morning girls, rise and grind. It is Wednesday, my dudes. And you know me, I just love to start a vlog looking absolutely busted. Cocky as fuck, everything by me popping, got face, I got body, you name it, I got it. Cocky as fuck, I hustle, I get it, I get it, I get it. What is this outfit? <laughs> Woo! This morning, I woke up, honestly, my sleep was so trash last night. I went to bed at like my usual 9.45, 10 o'clock. Then I woke up at midnight and maybe I had anxiety. My heart was kind of racing. I was really hot. And then I just kind of watched Futurama for like two and a half, three hours. And then woke up again like 4.30. Finally dragged myself out of bed at six o'clock had a cup of coffee, it was a nightmare. Here's the morning stock, this is, this is absolutely nothing new. Aloe vera juice, buff chick greens, code Alex if you even care, and some glutamine. Really had to drag myself onto the elliptical this morning. I feel like I have so much to update you guys on. So I used to, for most of this prep, I have gone to the gym and used the Stairmaster, but I found that I was getting super fatigued and having a really difficult time recovering. Like by the, by the end of the week, I was just super inflamed. So I switched to garage cardio. Let me, wow, egghead. Let me show y'all the, the setup here. Cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please don't. <laughs> okay. Anyway, there's my elliptical. Here's my garage. I don't know why I felt the need to show you that. Okay. Let's, let's make some breakfast. Um, another thing that I would love to update you on. I love her so fucking much. This is the Nespresso Virtuo Next Plus. I don't know. It came with this little milk frother that I'm going to be very excited to use during the off season. Um, this bad boy. And then I got these little canisters for espresso and coffee. Um, don't judge me. All right. Also, I lost one of my batteries for this thing. And I think this one's about to die. So if you don't get a breakfast montage... I'll just see you later, I guess. I've been using Hummus Fit Chipotle grilled chicken to make an egg white omelet in the morning. Oh my God, this stuff is worth the hype. Code Alex if you even care. You probably don't hate eating healthy and you probably don't have the chicken egg. You just kind of suck at cooking. She is very gorgeous to me. Wow, why do these egg whites look so milky? That's weird. And then we're just gonna pop a little lid on her. Yeah, so prep update. Things are obviously <laughs> rolling right along. I did check in this morning. Uh, weighed in at 133.5, even after some shit fucking sleep. Don't look at my, don't look too close. Where are my glutes? They'll be here soon. Hopefully. I'll tell you guys, because I love you guys and I trust you, but tomorrow, Thursday, will be five weeks out. I'm going to compete on July 4th. <laughs> Yeah, so it's been literally like 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> did I take a shower after fast with cardio? No. I washed my face. Did a little get ready with me. Um, I look insane because my face is super gone. So I just kind of have to deal with that. That dress. These are Paragon. As is my sports bra and a big t-shirt because it is leg day. Will be changing out of the Crocs. I'm just having a little bowl of Pro Brand. Mmm, pro brand. I really love oat brand. I've switched from having cereal pre-workout to having oat brand because it sticks with me a little bit longer. The pumps have been immaculate lately, so I know that that was a good decision. I just have a half scoop of oatmeal cookie buff whey in here, a tablespoon of Trader Joe's salted almond butter, y'all already know, and 60 grams of blueberries. My goal was to be at the gym by 9.30 today. It is 9.22, so I think I'll be there by 9.45, which is... Honestly, not bad. Coach's orders after my check-in today were to take a nap. The problem with that is one, Wednesdays are my heaviest check-in day uh, for my clients. So I've got a really large workload. And last week, because I was doing like home reno shit, I had to move all of my, all of last week's calls to this week in addition to this week's calls. So the schedule, she's a little, she's a little tight today, but that's okay. We'll make it work. I'll get at least a 20 or 30 minute nap in at some point hopefully i did have an espresso i don't really love having pre-workout or pump formula on leg day i don't know i don't know why i also have been working really hard to train legs like a pussy lately 
because I can tell in my front pose my quads are really overpowering like they make my lats look small and I don't have a small upper body it's just that I'm a little out of proportion sometimes people ask me like I can't get my legs to grow I can't get my legs to grow and the answer is twofold one are you eating enough or are you constantly trying to be in a calorie deficit or are you doing that whole uh like binge and restrict cycle maybe not full-on binge but like you're good Monday through Friday and then the weekends are a free-for-all and then you're good Monday through Friday and then the weekends are a free-for-all so you end up just kind of like staying stagnant you have to be eating enough to grow but secondly this might ruffle some feathers but you're probably just training legs like a fucking pussy legs can take a motherfucking beating you gotta beat them up in order to make them grow oh also here's another update look at this spoon you guys oh my goodness she's glorious so when buff chick launched banana cream pie and caramel sundae buff ways some of the pr packages had these spoons and like little sundae dishes and i was supposed to get that box but for some reason i didn't and i was like wow i'm so sad that i didn't get a spoon because i saw all my friends getting the spoon so then buff chick sent me two of these spoons and they're so perfect like the little mouth part is nice and little and the handle is so long and skinny i love her mm. She is very gorgeous to me. I did sprinkle a little bit of extra salt on there because lately I've been craving salt. I've been using Maldon sea salt. It's like super big fancy flakes. It's the kind that you use to put on top of like a chocolate chip cookie for instance. It's like finishing salt. Oh, it's so good. That alone pisses me off. Just be not an idiot. Wow, you're right. Really laying in on these bitches really took a lot of stress off of my body. I feel so much better now. Thank you. <laughs> Not to like expose Sophia, but we've just been having a little bit of a complaint fest. Cause like when you're in prep, <clears throat> your patience just gets so thin. You know what I mean? And like little things set you off. And sometimes you just need somebody like safe to vent to, somebody who gets it. And also we were talking about um, the Nespresso cause Sophia is the one that, um, hi Sophia. She's the one that influenced me to buy the fucking Nespresso. And I saw a TikTok today that was like, oh, once you put a normal coffee pot in, cause there are two size pods, right? There's an Nespresso pod and there's a cup of coffee pod. But if you put the cup of coffee pot in and then double tap the button, it'll turn turquoise and pull a double shot of espresso. So I was like, oh my God, bitch. Anyway, so if you have an Nespresso Virtuo next, plus whatever the fuck um yeah it does that and it's delicious anyway pulled into the gym parking lot 9 43 a.m i've been dilly dallying just a little bit my first call is at my first call is at 11 45 so i think that if i get out of here by like 11 20 that gives me about an hour and 15 to train legs which is perfect i'll be able to go home and have a snack and prepare myself for the call. I have two 30 minute consultation calls. So I offer, if you can't afford a full-time coach, but you want like a spot check on like, hey, what am I doing with nutrition? Hey, how's my training going? Like whatever random questions you have about nutrition, training, fitness, lifestyle, mindset, etc., cetera, um, you can hire me for 30 minutes and we can chit chat. So yeah, some of those I had to reschedule from last week. So they're this week, whatever. Um, and then I have one potential client that I'm going to do a consultation call with. I have a coaching application. My roster is full. Sorry. But I have an application that people fill out. And then we get together for 20 or 30 minutes. I ask some clarifying questions. I outline what it looks like to work with me. And that way we can kind of like suss out the vibe and see if we're going to be a good fit. If you agree with my training methodologies, my philosophies, whatever. Wow, this guy literally almost ran into me. What a fuck. Anyway. That's so annoying. Why are you parking next to me? Um, okay. Anyway, now that they're inside, that was so fucking weird. Like they almost ran into me. Like, why are you parking right next to me? The parking lot is goddamn near em almost empty. Anyway, uh, headphones on. I have to admit that why am I such a fucking weirdo? When I wear my beats, I prefer to have a headband on because I don't like the way that the little pleather feels against my skin. It drives me up a wall. Same reason why I have an undercut. I just cannot stand hair touching the back of my neck. Same reason why I won't eat regular oatmeal because I cannot stand the fucking texture. Ow! Anyway, let's go train.
Okay, that was good. In and out in an hour. Hell yeah. Mission accomplished. Trained quads like a pussy. And I'm really pleased that RDLs, I did two sets of six at 185. That's the movement that I was performing when I herniated the disc in my back. And like peak off season, I was consistently doing 255, sometimes 260 um, before I hurt myself. And so to be back up to 185 after spending, gosh, it felt like months doing band work, kettlebell work, um, just the bar, then 95, and like slowly working my way up and then having to regress because I had a like, I mean, I wouldn't say I re-injured it, but I aggravated it, you know? So to be back to 185, five weeks out from a show, feels really fucking good. Beltless too. That's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I also fucking blacked out at the gym yesterday. I was doing, I could feel that I had like a little bit of a catch in my back. And so I wanted to do a dead hang real quick. And I didn't have my straps with me because it was a push day. So I just went over and I was like, I'll just hang for a sec, see if I can get it to loosen up. So I'm hanging there and I'm like, whoa, I feel kind of dizzy. And then like I lost my vision. And then next thing I know, I like can't see. I feel like my feet are trapped. Like I can't, I don't have full control of them. So I'm like stumbling around, can't see. I'm like feeling, I hit my head on something. But when I was hanging there on the assisted pull-up machine, I just like blacked out. I must have just dropped down, fortunately, and like didn't get tangled up or hurt or anything like that. But that was like kind of scary. I've never had anything like that happen before. But whatever was caught, released. Today I did two more, like two sets of dead hangs just to make sure that it was like still released. And it was, it felt good. I didn't black out, so. That's great, love that for me. So it's quarter after 11. I need to run by my boyfriend's house because there's a package on his doorstep. Um, and then I should have time to grab a snack before hopping on the first call. I do give myself a 15 minute buffer between calls. So yeah, I don't, I feel, anytime there's like a deviation from my typical routine, it gives me a little bit of anxiety. So even though my workout is done and it's 11 in the morning, I'm behind where I usually am in my water and my steps. So I'm a little bit like anxious about that, even though I know like, hey, I'm kind of just flip flopping my typical schedule today. And like, <laughs> I know I've talked about this before, but I'm really good at establishing boundaries with my clients and a lot less good at upholding them. So my rules are check-in is due by 12 PST to guarantee same day response and please allow me a 24 hour response time for any other one-off message. The exception being Sundays, I do try to take Sundays like 100% off. So I've got obviously check-ins stacked up, a few residual messages from late yesterday, and to me, I'm like, oh my God, they fucking hate me, they think I'm an awful coach. Even though I know, like there's so many fucking coaches out there that take days to respond. Um, like I, I know that I'm on the higher end of responsive when it comes to coaches, but nonetheless, it's like, I got myself into this routine. I hold myself to a specific standard. And when there's a deviation, even if it's only by a couple of hours, I'm just like, I'm the worst ever. I don't know. I feel like being self-employed now is, it's been, it's been a journey for sure. Lots of learning. Um, but I find that I am highly critical of myself. I've always been highly critical of myself, but I found it really easy, especially when my schedule was so swamped to kind of compartmentalize everything like, okay, work is work. Once I clock out at 4:30, unfortunately I have no more mental capacity to spend on work related things. Um, you know, once I'm clocked out of like gym ownership work, okay, I have no more mental capacity to spend on gym ownership. Once I'm clocked in as mom, it is like, it is time for me to be mom. Like it was very easy to compartmentalize everything. And so now, now that everything is just 100% me, home is me, work is me, influencing is me. That's also work, but like coaching and influencing, whatever. It's, it's all me and, and it's all, directly tied to like who I am. It's all 
a part of my identity where I don't necessarily feel like all of the things I was doing before made up my identity. Now I feel like all of the things I do, which is really cool because it makes me feel like um, I feel very fulfilled by all of the work that I do. Um, even influencing because it's like, it's not just about like making money from selling products for me. It's number one, getting co to connect with really cool, like all of the companies I work with, with the exception of maybe Paragon are small businesses. Um, and, and they're businesses with missions, a mission and values that I believe in and that are aligned with my own mission and values. Um, and even aside from that, just getting to have a community and getting to connect with so many people like I think frequently back to the Arnold this year um, you know and how many women came to me that had gone through similar breakups to my divorce um, and just related on like a super deep level and the fact that I got to make somebody feel less alone in an extremely isolating time um, is so meaningful like so meaningful it's so hard to be open and vulnerable um, in general but especially like publicly on the internet when you have no idea who's going to see it but to know that the stuff that I make and put out there is impactful is like wildly fulfilling so all that to say that I am very fulfilled by my work because it is aligned with me personally so everything so when I get critical of things I'm also being critical of myself and my ability to fulfill my mission vision and values um, yeah I don't know why I'm venting about that but there you have it <laughs> uh, yeah so anyway deviation from the norm makes me feel a little bit out of whack but it's okay because everything's gonna get done and that's really what matters at the end of the day oh my god okay we're home <coughs> I have literally 10 minutes till my call and I'm honestly, I've just been dying to have a motherfucking muffin. So I'm gonna have one. Configured my macros in such a way that I can support it. I keep a couple of these bad boys in the freezer. Um, so this guy is frozen. I'm gonna toss it on defrost for like a minute. Hopefully then I can nuke it for like 30 seconds and she'll be perfect. Okay, so defrost wasn't doing a ton of damage. So I, tw I chopped her in half and nuked it for 30 seconds, and that seems to be just about perfect. Feeling slightly stressed, but it is literally okay. Oh my god, speaking of buffins, there is a lemon poppy seed flavor launching the first week of June. <laughs> That's so exciting. I'm a certified lemon gal. Y'all know me. Sour lemon creatine, sour lemon pre-workout. I'm drinking uh, those little limoncello um, LaCroix. Ugh. The true lemon little lemon packets. Oh my god. Anyway, love lemon. Cannot wait for that buffin. It's only got five grams of fat, so I'm pretty sure that I can work it in. Major slay. I have always been a meal plan girly. Since day one of bodybuilding, my first coach had me on a meal plan. So when I started with my current coach, I was like, meal plan, give me a meal plan. And he was like, okay, but <laughs> and wanted to make sure that I was getting variety, which is something that I struggle with. And I was very hesitant to macro swap things especially through prep but being having the freedom to do so and knowing that it has my coach's blessing has like made this prep so much easier because on days like today where i'm like i want a motherfucking buffin um or days where kenzie's been talking about this recently but sometimes i just don't want to be on plan even in prep i don't want to i like i just want to be a little rebel and Having the ability to like make macro swaps has given me the freedom to scratch that itch, which is so fucking nice. It's taken me a lot of time and work on my relationship with food to be able to trust myself to make some of those swaps though. For instance, my boyfriend sent me a story by The Flexible Dieting Lifestyle. He posted this cereal. It's a limited edi edition Walmart brand cereal. Oh my god, blueberry pie, you've got to be kidding me. And then while I was picking that up, I also saw cotton candy, what the hell? I would not have been able to trust myself a few years ago to buy this, keep it in the house, and just have a serving or a half serving as necessary. But I've matured in my relationship with food enough that like, I can trust myself to have that in the cupboard. It's going to be fine. Mm. I'm going to spit code, Alex. 
hello nap accomplished i took a shower just a body shower and here's lunch i guess it's 2 p.m have done zero client work which is stressing me out a little bit have many steps to get which is stressing me out a little bit honestly not even that hungry like where's my appetite are we okay kind of crazy because the last couple of days my appetite has been through the roof i've been very hungry okay feeling like relatively caught up on client work still behind on steps but that's okay and have a hankering have a hankering for a little snack i've really been trying to use my new and creamy more recently because i just feel like i wasted my fucking money on it i bought it last year used it like five times and just never got into it because like and everyone's like oh you just need to buy extra canisters and set it up like like when you meal prep first of all i don't meal prep i've never been a meal prep girly bulk cook Cook shit as needed. Nowadays, home is fit, baby. I just got that cod on deck and the chipotle chicken is fire. Anyway, so I'm not meal prepping. I'm not doing that. For me, it's a matter of once the canister is empty, I move it to the counter to remind myself to set it up. Forget it exists. It no longer exists to me. Um, so they end up sitting here for like weeks on end empty. Then I get pissed off that they're on the counter and then I put them away somewhere, forget that they exist. Alternatively, sometimes I'll fill them up, put them in the freezer, forget that they exist. Ugh. So I set a couple up this morning and I'm hoping that they're like ready. My freezer is really cold, so I mean, I think it should be fine. Maybe. Also, I think that my creamy is fucking busted because this, this is like stripped. Is this? No, I think it's literally just this part. Can you, I wonder if you can buy a new blade. Just what I need to buy more, sh more fucking shit. See, you shouldn't have to do that. It's not supposed to make that noise. Something, something went, something went wrong here. Oh yeah, what do you know? The fucking blade fell out. Oh, what a little piece of shit. I'm literally, why does it smell burnt? Do I dare try it again? I do. Hmm. I guess I'll have to do some reading and potentially some revising on my methods there. Sorry, I would have talked more about the ice cream, but I was on the phone with my boyfriend. <laughs> the recipe that I've been using lately is six ounces of water, two ounces of almond milk, because the store was out of cashew milk, and a scoop of protein. That's it. Sometimes I'll also add in a few of the like flavored stevia drops. I like in the banana cream pie one, I put the toffee stevia drops. In that one, since it was fudge brownie buff way, I put vanilla just to sweeten the deal up this is not what i thought it was going to be um i ordered tiktok shop got me and i ordered the hoodie that hoodies uh because it looks kind of like this one where it's got this like drop sleeve situation and i just want more zip up hoodies in general this however is a mailbox because all of our mail gets delivered like the mailman walks up to our thing I found it on Amazon I thought it was cute cool I'm not gonna install that till after I think about it. have I selected a paint color for house in my house no that's a really big decision that's a really big decision I had six picked out and I swatched them all like every side of the house so I could see it in all the light and everything and then as I looked at it for the last year decided that I hated all six fucking colors let's go to the living room because I have a little can we focus like literally at any point in time? There we go, hello. Um, we're in the living room because here's the situation. The TV has been moved to above the fucked up fireplace, which we've talked about this before. You're not gonna judge me for that. It used to be over here and I got this floating media console center. What do you call it? I don't know, whatever. It's a floating thing. And then behind this picture frame, there's like a, articulating tv mount and it looked 
really nice. There was a really big TV here. Uh, my ex used to play video games. What a surprise. Literal fucking child. But... I want to get rid of this. I want to get a really big mirror to put here because look how long my living room is. Like, it's a very long room. So the idea that I have is to put a large mirror here so that I can practice posing. Because, like, the coffee table that you're on is on a rug. Wow, don't boot me in the fucking snatch, dude. Get out of here. Where was I? Um, yeah, I want to do posing practice in here. So now I have to find some place to put all this shit and try to put this up on Facebook Marketplace or something. This was from a Buff Chick PR package, and this is where the Xbox hung behind the TV, and it just made sense for me to hang that there, I guess. Okie dokie, this is where I'm leaving it off for the night. Got everything demoed, kind of sanded down and wiped down the wall, filled in some of the holes. There's this gaping hole still. We're gonna have to figure out what to do. Uh, did post it on Facebook Marketplace. Hopefully somebody wants to buy it because then that would offset the cost of a very large mirror to go here. I'm going to check out Home Depot at home, just like a couple of those places to see if I can find a large mirror at a decent price. I personally don't love spending money on Amazon, so if I can avoid that, I will. Maybe I'll check out TikTok Shop. Speaking of TikTok Shop, <laughs> I got got by TikTok Shop. Yes, I did. I bought the hoodie that hoodies. She's not even thirsty. Little bitch. Okay, let's try it. I should probably actually be making a TikTok. Like unboxing and trying it on. But actually, you know what? I'm going to. Did I buy something else? Oh my god. Should I set up a ring light over here? I used to have a ring light here. Great, my battery's gonna die. I'll be back. Wowzers. Okay, it's been some time my boyfriend came over and then we promptly went to home depot okay that i just find that so annoying it's like okay now we're just like I don't, that's not breaking the fourth wall but that's what it feels like to me anyway um he helped me patch the holes in this bitch he told me not to sand it today and to be very careful when i do sand it um which is a big task because i go at everything like i'm killing snakes we also got there is a patch on here, but apparently you just like paint over it and then you peel something off. So tomorrow, I'm, so hopefully tomorrow, I'm going to get around to sanding this and painting it because I love this green color. It's so gorgeous. I did get a large mirror ordered. It is like 71 by 30. Found it for 100 bucks on Amazon. I was like, hell yeah, give it to me, baby. And then I kind of like halfway think that I might go to like a TJ Maxx or something and just find a little accent chair to shove over there. Um, and I think it'll be really cute. It'll be like the content's gonna hit great because there's a window right there for like side lighting. And then I can close my house. Oh, my, what am I saying? Words are hard. My house is east facing. So in, the, in like midday on, like the lighting will just be really good right there. Anyway, this <clears throat> is the hoodie that hoodies, the, the TikTok shop one. It's, it feels really, really big. I got a small medium. I think it's gonna be perfect when I'm like normal season. It is very high quality. Um, the zipper doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. I like the little, these thingies will keep it from We'll keep the strings from coming out in the wash. The hood is big. And I really like, just like the one that I got at TJ Maxx, I like the, I don't know, I just, at first I wasn't sure about it. It's like, can do a little off the shoulder moment. Sorry, sorry, she's just hanging out there. Yeah, this was a good purchase. And I'm considering buying another one in a smaller size in a different color. But we'll see, before I do that, Mostly I just want to spend money, I think. I literally just spent $70 on Nespresso.com. Um, I'm like looking at all this other shit on TikTok shop. because I'm like, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm going to add this to my showcase on TikTok shop. I don't utilize TikTok shop a lot because I just find it annoying to be salesy all the time. But I am going to add this one because I think, I think this is a, this is, this is pretty damn good. I have to say, ah, I hate to say it, but it is worth the $70 hairs. The prep is prepping. The face is not serving face. I kinda, I'm just like sitting in here. I should probably take a shower. I kinda think I might do some shower makeup just for fun and to keep myself out of the kitchen because I, 
I don't know, it's weird. Like I don't even feel the physical sensation of hunger right now. I just want to consume because I'm hungry. That's my dog too, guys. Um, hello, girly pops, it's Thursday. So far this morning, I made myself do cardio. I, no, let me take that back. I got to do cardio. I got to do 55 minutes of cardio, yay. And then my house cleaner came. I appreciate her so much. She just does like the deep cleaning for me. Um, and then I got some client work done. I know it is time to run some errands. I'm in a wedding. Um, <laughs> Uh, in the middle of June and I need to get my dress altered. It's I specifically wanted it because the back is literally so pretty and like I knew that this top would make the delts pop. However, it is a little tight across the lats and it is of course too long because I'm five foot freaking two and I'll be wearing Birkenstocks in the wedding because uh, it's a beautiful outdoor event. So I need to go and get that altered and I have a couple other errands. Because I know that I'm going to need a... Okay, rude. Fine, go. Sometimes when she pings her bell, she does it in such like a demanding way that it pisses me off. Anyway, I know I'm gonna get hungry while I'm oot in a boot, so I just have a little snack here. I have one scoop of caramel sundae buffet in here on ice because my car is black and I'm not drinking warm protein and just a couple of rice cakes. I already had my almond butter for the day, so just bare naked rice cakes. That's all I get. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I've also filled up my emotional support water bottle. Also with a little bit of ice. And yep. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go, girls. Dress dropped off for alterations. Um, I couldn't find the place at first because it's a literal house. Then I saw this little open abierto um, sign in the window alongside a sewing machine and I was like, oh, this is the joint. Okay. Um, and then I get in, hey, buckle up, bitches. Then I get in there and, um, you know, I live in a high migrant area and so um, it's very much like that's where you go to get your quince dress um, altered. It's fine, but there was like a little bit of a language barrier. She was so sweet though. And then <laughs> I was like, cause it's got two straps across the back that like snap on the side. And she was like, oh, this one's too big, way too big. Oh, this one's too small, way too small. Because like the one across my lats needs to be longer and the one around my waist needs to be considerably smaller. Um, I should have mentioned something about the uh, cups that I definitely do not fill out. It's fine. <laughs> it's literally fine. Um, so yeah, anyway, she was very sweet. It's a cash only place. Love to see it. Love to see it. Cancel me if you want. I have literally two vices in life. I vape and I go tanning. And honestly, I only do those things in contest prep. I tell myself I'm supporting a small business. Snack time. In the same parking lot as the tanning salon is an indie bookstore. A lot of times I'll just pick up my books at Target because it gives me an excuse to go to Target. <laughs> but I wanted to stop here. I had every intention of filming in there because I assumed that at 1.30 on a Thursday afternoon, it would be pretty dead. It was not. Here's what I picked up. Women in peril. It's a collection of short stories about women in peril. The crying of lot 49. I think it's supposed to be like, Maybe a little dystopian, kind of mystery-y. The back reads, the highly original satire about Oedipal Mass, a woman who finds herself enmeshed in a worldwide conspiracy, meets some extremely interesting characters, and attains a not inconsiderable amount of self-knowledge. Cute. I didn't find the horror section until I was already like three books in hand. So I was like, oh, let's just get one. This is What Moves the Dead. It is supposed to be a reimagining of Edgar Allan Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher, which sounds good. So I got it. And finally, The East Indian. Um, it's about this guy who becomes an indentured servant in Louisiana, I think. Travels from the coast of India to the teeming streets of London, and then he becomes uh, indentured on a Virginia tobacco plantation. Typically, the genres that I enjoy reading are like horror, dystopian, fantasy. Sometimes I like a little historical moment like that. Don't give me any of that fucking true crime shit. Ugh. That's actually the inspiration for this visit to the bookstore right now because I'm in the middle of like a true crime and it's so bad. 
I don't want to read it. I'm not interested. It's not that the writing or the storyline is bad. I just don't like it. I don't like watching true crime. I don't listen to true crime podcasts. I'm just not interested. Caramel Sunday is actually so good, which is crazy coming from me because I don't even like caramel. Apple cinnamon rice cake. The reason I'm eating a snack is because the next stop is the grocery store. So I worked on some editing for a while. My Atlanta vlog from literally a week and a half ago, two weeks almost. No, I think it has been two weeks. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, me and the girl, we're gonna go meet a friend and go for a walk through the canyon, a little nature walk. Yes, nature. Friday morning. Something majorly unslay when I checked in this morning is that I was up a pound, but something that is a major slay is a refeed. Okay, yes, I forget about my eggs every morning. They end up a little crusty, but look at this bowl of pro. As y'all know, I'm an oat bran girly. So we've got 30 grams of oat bran, a half scoop of peanut butter cookie buff whey, 12 grams of Trader Joe's salted almond butter, and fresh berries. Oh. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to clue you guys in on meal two. I did have a buff coffee. Um, got a restock, a wee restock of the mocha frappe flavor. Uh, delish. Then I had a call with buff chick, with all of the buff chicks. And this is my next meal. It's a little egg white omelet with spinach and sweet potatoes. I've been craving sweet potatoes. Specifically, I wanted sweet potatoes with chicken and almond butter, but I don't have the fats to support that nor do I have any more chicken on deck. I'm trying to troubleshoot this cod situation because cod really took a turn on me. It tastes metallic, I'm fucking gagging on it. Like, and this has never happened to me before. I've had preps, two preps as a matter of fact, where I was eating cod for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I don't know, I guess the prep has just been too smooth. Like something fucked up had to happen, you know? So I've been talking with my coach about, what have we been talking about? Troubleshooting it. Shrimp and egg whites are, are a green light. The thing about egg whites though is that I know that if I have too much that it will turn on me. Like we'll have a liquid situation real quick. So I've been asking him if I can use uh, hummus fit chicken. He said hesitantly yes, but I'm kind of scared. I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. This has never happened before. It's going to be fine. We'll get it figured out. NBD. NBD. You know, the demons in me, the parasites in me, they love to bake. So I'm making cookies. <laughs> I'm making some cowboy cookies. I have to admit that I rarely use a recipe. Um, I sort of just vibe it out. Because once you understand like a basic chocolate chip cookie recipe, you can pretty much just like fuck with it from there and turn it into stuff. So like in the dough, I mean, it's like a pretty basic dough. I use a stick of butter and I favored brown sugar over white sugar because I just felt like it was more of like a cowboy situation, like the molasses and the brown sugar. So I used a cup of brown sugar, half cup of white sugar, like two cups of flour, some baking soda. What else did I, obviously a little salt. I put some cinnamon in. And then for mixings, I used coconut, Reese's chips, chocolate chips, oats, and walnuts. I think traditional cowboy cookies come with pecans, but my boyfriend likes walnuts. So I made it with walnuts. <laughs> Let's take a peek at how this first batch in the oven is doing. Oh, they look stunning. I always, okay, so this is like, this is like one thing that's wrong with me when I bake is that I'll always like change cookie sheets. Sometimes I'll flatten them, sometimes I'll round them out. So I think this time I'm going to use the same cookie sheet because my ex fucking took the cookie sheets. You know what I mean? Like I had two of every kind of cookie sheet, like my cookie cookie sheet, my large cookie sheet, and then a standard baking sheet like this one. And he took one of each of them. Man, fuck you. So I have my favorite one in the oven right now. So I'll probably take a batch out, let them cool a little bit, and then I'm just gonna plop these ones on as is so that the whole batch is consistent. Cause they definitely bake differently, like on different ones. Sorry, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna have a good ass workout today with all these carbs. No, I will not be eating cookies, but that's how I pay my gym dues at this one gym that we go to like once a week. Ooh, it's my favorite end of the counter, the supplement counter. I have a big fat restock of a bunch of my buff chick faves. So what I do is I'll typically make like a quarterly order. Number one, because I feel bad about asking for stuff, even though it's literally my job and it's like I'm supposed to ask for things when I run out. So I just like to get it all over, like all at once. Let's, let, can we just, can we just get this done? So here's what I got. Fudge brownie, buff way. 
obviously, more oatmeal cookie buff way, which is great because I decanted my last one to give my mom the tub, and I think I have like two or three scoops of her left. She's so good in pros. And peanut butter cookie. This has quickly become like a top three favorite. I'm 100% out of her, and I'm so glad to have her back. I also got more <laughs> mocha frappe buff coffee. I do believe... Actually, never mind. Uh, stay tuned for more info. Okay. I got lately, I've been a little bit caffeined out, especially since I bought the Nespresso. So I needed some restocks on Pump. These are the two flavors that are available right now. Iced tea lemonade is so good. And so is green apple, actually. And both of them I love to mix with sour lemon. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll do like a half scoop of sour lemon pre workout, which is caffeinated, and a full scoop of the pump. And then lately I've also been mixing like a half a scoop of pump in my intro workout so that I can actually like get a pump. Although today I have hella carbs, so I don't think getting a pump will be an issue. A 90 day supply of Flourish. This girly, some. Sometimes people think that you're supposed to take this like my doll. Like, oh, I have the onset of PMS symptoms. I should take a flourish. This works best when you take it daily, even when you are not menstruating, even when you are not PMSing. So the act, like the star of the show here is Chaste Berry. And she needs to be in your system all the time in order to regulate your help to regulate your hormones. So she's an all the time supplement, which is why I highly recommend picking it up in the bundle. You save money anyway when it's bundled. Um, it can help alleviate the symptoms of PMS. Chase Berry has also been shown in the research to support regulating the menstrual cycle. Um, obviously, this is not like a miracle product. If you've got big, big issues, like go speak to a doctor. But I love her and I fully 100% believe that Flourish is a large part of the reason why after I got my IUD removed, my cycle returned to normal. Okay, and then two lime greens because I have her every morning and then two strawberry kiwi reds because I have her every night. Although they do mix really well together. I think I've talked about this before, but I like to separate them because the reds have calming ingredients. So I like to have them before bed. The greens have ashwagandha, which give me restless legs if I try to take them before bed. So yeah, there's, there's my wee little quarterly restock. I just ate my pre-workout snack. Holy moly. This, let me tell you about this crack pipe right here. Oh, gosh. This is gonna be a tough one to control myself around. I might have to keep this at my boyfriend's house because this is so fucking good. It's a limited edition flavor, blueberry pie. Obviously you saw that, I showed you. <laughs> what, 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 what? I paired her with uh, oatmeal cookie buff way because pie and cookie and oatmeal, I don't know, it just felt like it all went together and it was a good flavor pairing. It really and truly was. Rise and shine. Wow, we. I'm supposed to be at the gym in 30 minutes to meet my boyfriend. Gonna bring them, gonna bring them cookies. Okay, they're maybe like still a little too warm to be in a plastic bag, but look. Oh my God, yummy. They smell really good. I think everybody will enjoy them. Look how full my delts look too. Go carts, go! Suppose I should probably get my shit together and get this shit on the road. Hello, I have trained back. And then my boyfriend and I went and had a little sushi date. I had um, just some sh 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 sashimi, sashimi, because it's easy to track. Holy cow. Then I came home to hella packages. So I didn't accidentally dock myself. Let's open them. Okay, this first one is like a, oh darn, twist my arm. I guess I have to buy a new pair of Burt. I'm in a wedding in the middle of June. The dress color is sage, so I got this kind of like grayish color. I think these are gonna be really cute. I'm gonna attempt to not wear them. Oh, they're gonna be perfect. My other Birkenstocks are size seven, and they're just like a little too big, and I was concerned that these weren't gonna fit me, because these are a, six and I thought maybe they wouldn't be wide enough but I think that they will be so these are very cute very slight I'm gonna have to put these up though so I can like resist the temptation to wear them package number two I'm so excited I love my Nespresso so freaking much so when you buy it you get a coupon inside that's like ten dollars off a purchase of 50 or whatever so 
Oh, and here's the recycle bags, like pre-postage paid, postage prepaid recycle bags so that I can um, feel better about the single use pods. So I've got Bianco Dobio. I got a, de a sleeve of decaf. What is this? Oh, this is supposed to have benefits of some variety. Rich in B12 to help support immune health. Vivida, that's her name. Ooh, this one is for ice. Sunny almond vanilla over ice. Sounds bomb. Roasted hazelnut. And then I really enjoyed the Intenso, Intenso one. Oh, yes. And you get samples. Double espresso dolce and Master Origins Costa Rica. Yay. Oh my gosh, I have coffee forever now. Oh my God, they just, I don't want to give away my codes, but they just get you because now they give me another coupon that says receive a special welcome box with your next order of seven plus sleeves. I already have like 50 cups of coffee here. This is crazy. Also, I need to figure out an organizational situation. Um, and then we have a very uh, sad hummus fit order. And I'll tell you why it's sad. Bless you, Miss Ruby. Oh, fuck. Why didn't I open it upside down? What an idiot. I always open it upside down so I don't have to. <gasps> So I don't have to deal with the peanuts. We got some buffins for my boyfriend. <laughs> Brookie cookie and cereal milk. He really likes those ones. Oh, what do we have? Oh, and a Peace Out Girl Scout because he likes it. Then this week it came with a free Brooklyn cookie overnight oats. I'm going to put this in the freezer so that I can eat it post-show. Because this stuff will last. Like you can put all of this stuff in the freezer and it'll last up to three months past the date on the thing. I also got a cinnamon tart buffin for my boyfriend. I'm pretty sure I have zero, yeah, zero buffins for me in Kia. I have a couple of spiced chicken folds because um, I like to keep these on deck. I will usually use some of my carbs on rest days on a spiced chicken fold because they've been digesting well. And then this is the sad part. This is, this is the really depressing part. I got four more cod. Oh no, I got three cod. At any rate, the cod is the sad part because the cod has like, I've been gagging on it, tastes metallic. I just can't, I can't fucking do it. At any rate, and then I got this trifecta shrimp bowl, which has 28 protein, 46 carb, two fat. I'll probably just take out a majority of the rice here, but sometimes it's nice to just have like a little meal on deck, you know? I placed my next hummus fit order. Um, oh, this caught me off guard because they're like, they must have like ran out of ink or whatever. Um, anyway. I placed my next order for chicken. I got plain chicken. Did you just hear me fart? Cause I definitely just farted, I'm so sorry. But I got plain chicken and I got Chipotle chicken. I'm just gonna make my macros work with that every day because I can't take it. <laughs> Happy Sunday guys. I'm gonna be so honest. I had a like, a really bad day yesterday. Like a really bad day. Up like five pounds, just looking and feeling watery and shitty. So I really just um, like kept to myself so I could manage my self-talk, which was very necessary. And then today, spent the night at my boyfriend's house, woke up this morning, bebopped around, cleaned up a little, and then I was like, you know what? I've been a very good girl. I deserve to go shopping. So let's do a haul. I do have to drive like an hour away in order to have any kind of decent shopping. So I don't have access to a home goods. So I went to a home goods, got this cute little trash can for my room. I wanted one with a little steppy lid because my fucking dog likes to go in there and put her face in the trash and then she'll just pull out like tissues and not do anything with them. She just pulls them out of the trash. I am in a wedding later this month and I'm going to need to prep my meals and I do not have meal prep containers like this. And then I also got a frying pan because the pan that I have, you can only use bamboo implements on. So I can't make the kind of omelet that I would like to make because I can't use the right kind of spatula. So that's why I got her. I went to Pink and got these, they're just like, I don't know, parachute pants. They're very lightweight and I thought that they would be great to travel in when I, because I do have to fly all the way to New Jersey for my show. It was like buy two, get one free. So I basically just got myself like a little fitty fit. I don't, I'm never gonna wear a real bra ever again, I don't think, but this looks nice. This might actually be too small. Bath and Body Works was having a sale, but none of the stuff that I wanted or liked was on sale except for this hand soap. Love that. This is my favorite, my favorite smell, champagne toast. So I got a few things in champagne toast and then I got a couple candles. This is springtime in Paris. 
I have recently been into florals more. So I just like wanted a little floral moment. And then iced lemon pound cake because y'all know me, I'm a lemon gal. Oh, and it smells, it smells so good. Oh, and then I got like this little scrubby and champagne toast. Okay, and this, this is where, I don't have a real Sephora where I live either. I have to go out of town. We just have a Sephora in Kohl's here. Very, very annoying. I picked up this Kerastase shampoo and conditioner. My camera is never going to focus. I hate it so much. If anybody has camera recommendations, let me know. Um, anyway, that's supposed to be really good for color treated hair. And obviously, like, I ripped through the red. I have had this before. The superfood it's it's a cleanser it's a cleanser i've had it before i really like it oh i got a little okay because one time i got one time i had a little sample of this perfume so i got a slightly bigger sample size from the way or maybe it's just way actually i don't think this is the same one it is good though again more into florals recently my boyfriend really likes florals on me i would i would qualify that as a floral i think it's florally I don't know what the fuck do I know about scents. I got this Rare Beauty highlighter. I'm very excited to try her. I got it in the shade Mesmerize. I could have sworn that I got more things at Sephora. What the hell? I picked up a little trial size of the Givenchy powder. Love her. I have the House Labs concealer in a color. I'm actually wearing it today, but it's like very similar to my actual skin tone and I wanted a slightly lighter shade, but I really like the formula. So got her. I got the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Overnight Eye Mask because I just wanted, um, I like an eye cream. I don't care if they actually work or not. I like them. And then I got the Kosas Tinted Brow Gel. We'll see if she's any good. I did get it in a, um, Auburn shade. Auburn. For my red hair. I do, of course, already have um, gel in my brows, but I can't even tell if I like this because the viewfinder is so teeny tiny. And then even though there is a Target here where I live, there's a nicer Target over there. And furthermore, they have Dr. Pepper Zero, which my boyfriend really likes, and we can't get here. So I picked him up a couple Dr. Pepper Zeros, and I picked up a few things for me. I wanted a body oil. But I don't know if I'll be able to make this habitual. So I didn't want to like spend Sephora money on a body oil. I just wanted to spend like Target money on a body oil to see if I can even make it like part of my routine. I did pick up a bottle of Taco Bell hot sauce. It does not taste the same as the packet, but I got it nonetheless. I, as though I needed more makeup, I did pick up this little neutrals palette from ColourPop. Um, I wanted that, I don't know, this just sounded good. It's cinnamon snickerdoodle nut butter. So I just got a little sample pack. And then some buble bath. Look, they're both lavender, so they match. That's the hurl. Um, did I need to spend all this money? No. Do I feel better now that I spent some money? Yeah, actually I do. Thank you very much. So <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here because God only knows how much content or how little content really there is. Um, if you would like a try on haul of all of this Sephora crap that I got, I didn't really get that much makeup though. I thought I got a blush. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, I, I do think that I would like to film a get ready with me, like a let's get ready for the gym, let's do our makeup, let's do our hair, as though I ever do anything with my hair, mm, but I don't know, it just sounds like something that I want to film, so if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below, otherwise, I love you so much, I'll see you in the next one, bye!